home here. The war in Ukraine is costing us at the pump. We have now seen record-breaking gas prices for the third consecutive day. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Susanna now joins us live in New Haven. And Roger, the big question is, what are people doing to uh, save some money? Oh my goodness, I guess the short answer is anything they can. One thing that we know they're doing, though, is taking the bus more frequently. We actually talked with a public transit company, and they say their public transportation numbers, as you might expect, are absolutely through the roof this week. And when you look at these numbers, check them out. I mean, read them and weep, right? You can certainly understand why people are going to great lengths to avoid buying gas. This is at a mobile station on Long Wharf in New Haven. You can see the cash price for a gallon of regular is just a tick below 470 a gallon. And you know the statewide average is nearly 449 a gallon, so not a whole lot better. As a result, more people doing what they can. We know that more folks are frequently popping on to buses for their daily commutes. Local transit company Datco provides vehicles for dozens of cities and school districts, and a spokesman tells us that although they don't have the final numbers, they can definitely tell us their ridership levels have surged really right along with those fuel prices. The good news for them, though, is they buy gas months in advance, so they really haven't been impacted by the conflict in Ukraine, but they certainly could be in the very near future. Now, later this morning right here in New Haven, U.S. Senator Chris Murphy is going to announce that the state will soon get 22 new all-electric buses thanks to an $11.4 million federal grant. The state will then retire a bunch of diesel buses, you could argue, just in the nick of time, and Senator Murphy says this program really will save the state a bunch of money, especially with fuel prices where they are right now. Reporting live in New Haven this morning, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.